BIRD stands for Brief Potentially Ictal Rhythmic Discharges. Mm -hmm. and, and for a brief time, it was spelled out with parentheses around the I for the potentially ictal. Mm -hmm. But that got so hard to type that we decided to just get rid of it. So this is the um, formal ACNS definition of BIRDs now. Rhythmic activity greater than four hertz. And notice it can be focal or generalized. Mm -hmm. And like any pattern, you have to have at least six waves for it to count. Okay. And it has to be between 0.5 and 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. It can't be a normal variant. It can't be RMTD or a run of wickets. Mm -hmm. um, and it cannot be part of burst suppression or burst attenuation, because then they're mm -hmm. just called bursts, potentially highly amplified bursts. But they're mm -hmm. we don't call those. We don't call it bird suppression, and we don't call them periodic birds. Then you call it burst suppression and just describe the bursts. But bird suppression is a pretty nice term. But it doesn't ex doesn't exist for now. Yeah, maybe a twenty thirty version. <laughs> um, and there has to be no clinical correlate because what would happen if there was a clinical correlate? There would be a seizure. It would be a seizure, not a bird. Yeah. All right, and uh, and it also has to have one of these features, one of these three things, either evolution which makes it a definite bird or the same morphology and location as either sporadic epileptiform discharges or seizures in the same patient. That also makes it definite bird. Hmm. Or it can be just sharply contoured, but without either one of those. And that's possible birds. It's more that there's a better chance with that, that hmm. it's not so seizure related. Hmm. Okay. But Terrence, does the duration of the birds make them more or less likely to, to be associated with seizures? Yeah, that's a great question. And the answer is probably yes. Okay. The longer they are, there seems to be more of an association. And mm -hmm. uh, in one of Dr. Yu's studies, virtually all of them that were four seconds or longer uh, had seizures in that same record. Oh, okay. A couple other notes about birds. So if you have paroxysmal fast activity, uh, even if it's generalized, which people call GPFA, generalized paroxysmal fast activity, mm -hmm. that is a form of birds as long as it's less than 10 seconds long. Hmm. Okay, And there's no clinical correlate. If there's a clinical correlate, it's still a seizure. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is not unusual and like Lennox Gasteau to see runs of GPFA for a few seconds with no clinical correlate, so that qualifies as birds, generalized birds. Um, and then one other note is that they're actually all very brief by definition, right? Because they're less than 10 seconds, which mm -hmm. in the terminology means very brief. Nope. So they should, it should be V birds, but <laughs> drop the V. The, oh, this is, this is a b -b bird. Yeah. Looks like a bird. Nice. I think you said Bub Bird because there's two of them. Yep, that, I was meant to say Bub Bird. <laughs> but I wasn't sure about the last one. So why why is this a bird? I, I think we all feel it's a bird in our bones, but why is it? So, okay, so let me try. See. Let me go, go for it. it. So it's it's more than 0.5 seconds, longer than 0.5, less than 10, so that counts. Yeah, yeah. It reaches four hertz at least. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, maybe five. So that, that, yep. That, yeah. yep. Five hertz. Uh, five hertz. Yeah, that's it. There's no clear evolution, so it's not a definite bird. Um, well, so not not by evolution criteria. That's true. But it's it's over four hertz, so I think it's. I think well, that, it's that, bird that makes it a bird. So the question now is: Is it possible or definite? If you have seizures coming from that area or interictals, then it would be. Oh yeah. Correct. If uh, it looks the same. Same location and general morphology as either seizures or interictal discharges in that patient. Mm -hmm. So what what do you see here? Uh, I see some interictals there. Yeah, this looks pretty darn similar, at least close enough. What is it so doing? yeah, if you consider that this is a run of the same thing as here, then mm -hmm. you would call it definite. Yeah, I, see. I see. Or if you some other part of the record saw one of these that lasted 11 seconds that would be a seizure and then these would become definite birds got it they would only be possible birds if we hadn't seen these either some seizures that look like this or those discharges correct exactly 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the title kind of gave it away, but uh, so here's a little burst of fast activity gradually slowing down. So this one actually counts as evolving in frequency mm -hmm. and it only lasts three or four seconds, four seconds, I guess. So mm -hmm. This is another example of a definite bird because of the evolution. And it's decreasing, right? The frequency is decreasing. Right. Oh, there's two consecutive, Ew. there's 0.5 hertz. Okay, got it. Here's one that shows the uh, same thing again, the sporadic discharges and then a bird from the same location. And then this way, you have to take my word for it that it goes on more than 10 seconds, but it does. That's uh, a definite bird. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so extreme delta brushes. So this is also newly defined. Um, and this came about because of literature suggesting that this pattern is highly associated with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. Mm -hmm. It tends to be in the more severe cases. Um, and it's, it's not pathognomonic or 100% specific, but it certainly suggests it. Um, okay, so how is it defined? So it's a subset of plus F. So um, you need to have either abundant or continuous either RDA plus F or periodic discharge plus F. Mm -hmm. And the vast majority are RDA shown in the top example here. Okay, so it's rhythmic delta with a burst of fast activity on each delta wave. And in, to be a definite, to be definite uh, EDB, this fast activity has to have a stereotyped relationship to the delta waves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as far as periodic discharge, there's only one type of periodic discharge that can qualify, and it's periodic blunt delta waves. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's basically delta waves that have a little break between them, so that each one of these is a delta brush. It's basically periodic delta brushes. Okay, but the, it cannot be sharp, sharp waves mm -hmm. uh, or, or any other periodic pattern. It has to be periodic blunt delta waves with burst of fast activity on each one. Does it have to go on for a certain amount of time or? Yeah, so to be definite, then this pattern has to be abundant or continuous. So that's more than half the record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but for possible, it can be the same, but only occasional or frequent. Okay, rare doesn't make it. You have to at least be occasional. Um, or if you have the same pattern, but it's a continuous fast activity on the RDA without that stereotype relationship, that's another way to be possible EDB. Okay. Um, so here's just another example. This is the one with the periodic discharges. There's a zoom in of it showing the fast activities on the downslope of each one. You can see that mm. several in a row here. So they're going to look the same. The only difference is the inner discharge interval being absent or present, right? Exactly. Okay. 